Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up a Joomla content management system on a one and one server. Okay, and I'm also going to show you how to point a domain name from GoDaddy to a one and one server hosting account. Okay, so this is a full installation with DNS configuration. So first, we have to download the program. Okay, so the first step is to open up Joomla.org by going to Joomla.org. Enter. Okay. Now you always want to download the latest version of Joomla, right? Which today is Joomla 1.5. So this is the file we just downloaded. It's a compress.zip file. So we have to uncompress it. Okay. Windows XP has its own uncompression wizard. I'm using WinRAR right here, which you could download. Just Google it. WinRAR. W-I-N-R-A-R. Okay, so I'm going to right click, extract to Joomla 1.5. Okay, it's going to create a folder with the contents of this file. Now this is the folder it just created. Okay, we'll open up the folder. So all these files are the files that make up the Joomla content management system. Okay, so what we want to do is upload it onto our server via FTP. Here I'm using a a FileZilla FTP client. Okay, you know, FileZilla is a free FTP client that you can download from the internet. Google it, FileZilla. And um, I think it's pretty good. Okay, but once you locate the folder, you want to place the Joomla CMS in, right? You double click on it. Okay, well in our case I'll be creating a new directory. Okay, we'll call it crush. Okay, I'm gonna double click on it. And first what I want to do is hit control A, would highlight all the files in the folder and drag it over into this directory. Okay, the upload itself will take a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the MySQL database on the one and one server that's going to function with this Joomla application. So again, open up a browser, click go to your one and one account and click login. Okay, scroll down to MySQL Administration. Okay, 
this page it lists all your MySQL databases now if you want you could create one from scratch by clicking new database okay or you could just use an existing database to house your Drupal installation which is actually what I'm going to be doing okay but I'm just going to show you this page um, to just walk you through setting this up okay it's really for Joomla it's not so important whether you pick MySQL 4.0 or MySQL 5.0 okay just give it a description here and then just click setup and um, it will automatically create a username but I'm just gonna go ahead and use an existing database okay so I'm going to copy one of these rows that has all the info I need. And I'm going to copy it over to a WordPad page. Or let's use Notepad. Okay. Put that aside for now. Okay, now I'm uploading this onto a folder on my hosting account, but I want that folder to be accessible via a domain name. And this is a domain name that I've purchased through GoDaddy. So let's go ahead and go to GoDaddy. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to point my domain name that folder okay so first I'm going to go ahead and locate that domain name by clicking on my domains okay right here my domains Okay, but after I locate my domain, I'm going to click on it here, and I'm going to prepare it, or I'm just going to leave it available here, because um, we're going to have to change the name servers on it in order for it to point to our new hosting server. So I'm going to go back to my one add one screen, and we're going to go click on administration again we're going to click on domains okay then we're going to click on new here we're going to type in our domain name Click check domain. This does a search just in case you're interested in purchasing the domain through one at one. But being that we've purchased the domain the domain name through GoDaddy, um, it shows that that the domain has already been registered. So all we're gonna do is click here, click point to DNS to one on one name servers, and then click next. Okay, this is just mailbox settings you could just click next again okay now this is the info that we want here the name server information so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that onto my notepad and then click order okay, once that's done, that's done I'm gonna click on go to overview and then I I want to make sure that my domain is pointing to the folder I created on my hosting account so I'm gonna tick this and then click destination and click edit destination 